This creamy cauliflower kale dish is so quick and easy to put together and tastes absolutely beautiful. So we're going to start by getting our cauliflower and we're simply going to cut it into pieces so that it looks like this. And once we've got all our pieces, we're then going to put them into a steamer that goes into the microwave. I'm going to add one cup of water. I'm going to put the top on, make sure you have the seal open. And we're going to microwave this for seven minutes until it's cooked through. Next, we're going to get our kale sprigs. We're going to wash them thoroughly, pat them dry, and then we're going to remove the leaves from the stalk. I find this a very easy way of doing it. Just hold down the stalk and cut along either side until you have all the leaves separated. Then we're just going to chop all of those leaves up until you get this beautiful bunch of kale. In a pan, we're going to put our butter and we're going to heat it till it's melted. I'm going to add my oregano like this and my garlic. And we're simply going to stir those through to let all of those beautiful flavors infuse together. Now we're going to get our flour and I'm simply going to put that on top of the melted butter. I'm going to use a spatula and I'm going to quickly stir this together to form a roux. This is very quick and simple. So this is what you're looking for. This beautiful, thick puree mixture. When we get to this consistency, we're now going to add our milk. So we're going to pour one cup of milk into this. I'm going to stir it rapidly until it all starts to come together and thicken up. This is a very, very quick process. So as you can see, that's thickened up really quickly. And now we're going to add some more milk and do the same thing. We're just going to keep on mixing it until we get that beautiful thickened consistency. Like this. And when it's all melted together and nice and thick, you can see how thick that is when I run the spatula through, you can still see the lines. We're now going to add our kale. And we're just going to simply place this into that beautiful sauce. I've taken it off the stove top at this point while we add our kale. Now we return it to the cooktop like this. And we're simply going to mix it through until all of that sauce has combined and covered that beautiful kale. Now everybody knows how wonderful kale is for you and it's very easy to grow. Tastes amazing and there's plenty of dishes that you can use it with. So once you've covered your kale completely like this, we're now going to add our cream. I'm just going to pour it over the top, mix it in like this. And then we're going to get our cooked cauliflower. I'm just going to check that. Yes, that's cooked perfectly. And then we're going to add this to our pan like this. Once again, just mix that through with the kale, that beautiful sauce, until it's all combined. Just a couple of minutes. And now we're going to get that beautiful Colby Jack cheese. 
I'm simply going to place this over the top of that cauliflower and kale. Don't be sparing with the cheese. Tastes absolutely amazing. Turn down your heat. And we're just going to let that simmer slightly on the top. We're going to salt and pepper it at this point. Nice dash of salt and pepper. And then I'm just going to press the sides in so that that cheese melts down into that dish like this. Like I said, this is a very quick and easy, extremely healthy side. Tastes amazing. You'd even get the children to eat this one, I think. Now we're just going to put a lid over the top and we're just going to leave it for five minutes. And look at that. Now we're just going to put our Parmesan cheese over the top while it's bubbling away there. Turn off your heat at this point and just let it sit for five minutes. And there it is. Absolutely delicious. Look at that. Really, really is a quick, tasty meal. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to have this for my dinner. And we're going to plate her up. This is a very, very quick, easy side dish. And I really do hope that you give it a go.